worksheet are the containers for the data you analyze and graph. They are spreadsheet-like in appearance, but are limited in function and are column rather than cell oriented. So to enter data, you can type in, paste, or import from other sources. You can also automatically generate and place data in worksheet columns by data transforms and statistical procedures. So the first thing is to open worksheet and we showed this in a previous lecture. You can just right click and go to new and you see worksheet. So each worksheet that you choose, Zigma plot assigns it to a new section under your notebook. And from here, you can also rename. So you can just right click and you can rename your worksheet as well. Moving on, you can also save your worksheet to notebooks. So you can come to save and you can save it. This is notebook one, but you can save it to different notebook so the next thing to do is set in display for your worksheet so when you come to your main button head over to options and the first option that you see is your worksheet so you can have general setting so you can check undo display duplicate title warnings for transform so you can always do that you can also come to numeric so you can change this to fixed decimal general or whatever and you can choose your decimal places if you want um six one zero decimal places you can also choose engineering notation and you can play with these things you can also come to date and time so how your date and time displays you can choose all of these options you can have all of these as well and then appearance so when appearance you can change let's say the column width so now we have i think 14 let's change it to 30 and you see it, it becomes bigger so you can always change that as well you can change your row height is also 14 let's try 38 now it changes can play with these as well then you can come to your grid you see it's in gray however we can change the color to whichever that sigma plot gives us and you can also customize as well so let's try at the moment is gray but let's try blue and you have your grid changed yeah you can change them as you need black is here as well you can also change the thickness now let's try um, the biggest then you have medium so this is kind of like helps you customize your working area and then you can also change your data feedback colors and all that and change your font style and then your font size so this this tab is very useful so let's let's go ahead and go to main button and go to open and let's just choose statistic sample let's bring it up and go to descriptive and then choose this one okay so we have some data in here now when you come to your main toolbar you can come to worksheet and this is a tab specifically noted for worksheet so one way to import was how i did it you can come to either new and create a new worksheet or go to open and open it open a worksheet as we've done you can also go to import and bring whatever document that you have or you have saved here and you can also import from database as well so if you have anything in there as well so you can freeze pans to keep rows and columns visible to you as you scroll through the worksheet 
so you can use this to do that so to keep portion of your worksheet visible while the remaining portion scrolls so you can always use this button to to do that as well and it's just like your normal interface you can move around you can just use your arrows or use your mouse to select if you want to go to um, a specific portion you can always use Control G and it brings about this so you can select the exact place that you want to go to if you want to edit you can just double click you can also come select it and press F2 to edit so these are all kind of stuff that you can do in a system over here remember you can always um, copy so you can copy let's say this side and maybe go to another data set so you can either right click go to copy or you can come here copy card so it's just the same stuff that we do and then you can paste in in another in another worksheet and you can also do find and replace you can also sort so let's say we want to sort this column you can choose um d which is a title and you can either choose ascendant or descendant so you can always sort it that way you can also come to format and from the format you can change let's say um the text the dates whatever that you want to format you can do that change the row size and all that and this is insert so if you want to insert cells columns rows you, you can let's say um insert column and it brings about this tab so you can insert column um before you can choose if it's before let's say c now it's insert a column before c you can come to insert insert row and you can and it brings about this one so you can choose before row one so you can just select it and you can always do that you can also delete so it's the same way you can delete and shift cell so let's say if you want to shift this cell up or cell down you can also delete columns and delete rows and then graphics so you can change let's say um, graphics and all so you can change all of these the graphics of the cell if you want to so let's try this one if you want to change it to red and all that you can always do that so that is also something useful to do and also title so if you want to add a title so i imported this one this already had titles you can always right click and then go to column titles and you can change this as well you can also come to this side and hit title and then the same thing pop up and you can change lastly what you can also do is statistics on columns so you can come to this side or select the whole column and go to view statistics on column so it brings about a new tab showing descriptive or showing the column statistics so you have the mean of all the columns you have the um, median and all of that if you want to edit these you can also come to the main button and then options and now you see statistics show so you can either um, hide or show whichever one that you need over here so that is also something very useful to do and you can also print your worksheet when you're done you can always come to file and then go to print and you can do your print preview and all of that so that is also useful so that would be a basic overview of the worksheet and we'll use many of these stuff as we go into plot 
and also manipulate the data and even some analysis so that is just a brief overview so thank you and see you in the next section